every time we come into the bush we see children excited about their learning and they are leading their learning. There are no boundaries in the bush. They're being scientists, they're discovering things, they're, they're challenging their bodies, they're challenging their emotions sometimes, and all this is not something that can happen within the four walls of the classroom. With nature-based learning, it's basically, it's freedom to learn. So if you put a child, say, in a classroom, there's walls, there's rules, there's ways that things work, but in nature, it's really open, and so there's endless limits. I think it's great for their mood. They come back home calm and satisfied, I think, just being outside. It's a different way of learning, I guess, um, getting outside, looking at things, looking at things that you wouldn't normally see inside a classroom. Nature and children um, naturally go together. I think for children, when they can see maths and literacy blending together, science and maths blending together, and all of it blending together so that it's in their real life, then they see a purpose for it and they see the validity. It just, it helps to just open them up and it makes it more accessible for them and it's not so hard or arduous. So mainly we've been planting and picking up rubbish to help the animals. I learned that the animals actually feed on the plants, also while hiding in the plants, so yeah, that's one of the things I've learned. It's been amazingly beneficial for our kids. We've got a lot of children that really um, connect with the land, that's a big part of who they are, and we really want them to feel connected to this place. We've only had positive feedback about it. Nobody's grizzled about kids going home dirty or, you know, wet or whatever has happened because they've been outside. They've liked it. Like most really meaningful things, it's not talking about it, it's actually going in and experiencing it. Resilience is huge. Children learn to rely on each other and they learn about building their own self-belief about things that they can do, things that they previously thought that they couldn't do. I find that children always come back to kindergarten physically tired and emotionally happy. I think it is so important and there are so many benefits that I would always champion for teachers to do this, always.